All right, in this lesson, we're going to look at the identity property of one and the multiplicative inverse property. So the identity of property of one says that if you multiply a number by one, you just get that same number back. Right? Three times one is three. And of course, one times a number gives you that number as well. And we call one the multiplicative identity because of this, because you multiply by one, you just get the same number back again. And the multiplicative inverse property says that um, for every number that we have, um, except of course zero, um, so maybe I should have written that here, we'll just, as a note, a is not zero, um, but for any number besides zero, there is a multiplicative inverse, uh, where if you multiply by that number, you get the multiplicative identity uh, back again, which is of course one. And the inverse is always the reciprocal of the number, right? So the, we would say the multiplicative multiplicative inverse of five is one fifth. Um, you know, you might, you also could say the multiplicative multiplicative inverse of let's say two thirds is, well just go back to um, what you know about reciprocals, right? Because we said the multiplicative inverse is just a reciprocal. Well the reciprocal means the flip, right? So is three halves, okay? so. Uh, so that's what the multiplicative inverse is. When you multiply a number by its inverse, you get one back. All right, so we can see that at work here um, in this example. So one third times x times three. Well, it looks like we have two numbers that are inverses of one another, um, but they're not next to each other right now. So let me first use the commutative property to reorder them. And that's okay, so we just switch the role of three and x, or switch the order of three and x. And then I know that one third times three, since they are multiplicative inverses of one another, that's just one. And I have my x, but of course, the identity property of one tells me if I multiply anything by one, I just get that thing back. So my simplified version of this expression is just x.